Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 28. Bring Aaron, your brother, and his sons with him, near to you from among the children of Israel, that they may minister to me in the priest's office. Even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, Nephimah, Aaron's sons, you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, for glory and for beauty. You shall speak to all who are wise hearted, whom I have filled with a spirit of wisdom, that they make Aaron's garments to sanctify him, that he may minister to me in the priest's office. These are the garments which they shall make a breastplate and an ephod, and a robe and a cope of checkered work, a turban and a sash. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, and his sons, that he may minister to me in the priest's office. They shall take the gold, and the blue, and the purple, and the scarlet, and the fine linen. They shall make the ephod of gold, of blue, and purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, the work of the skilful workman. It shall have two shoulder straps, joined to the two ends of it, that they may be joined together, the skilfully woven band, which is on it, that is on him, shall be like its work, and of the same piece of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. You shall take two onyx stones, and engrave on them the names of the children of Israel. Six of the names on the one stone, and the names of the six that remain on the other stone, in the order of their birth, with the work of an engraver, in stone, like the engravings of a signet, you shall engrave the two stones, according to the names of the children of Israel, you shall make them to be enclosed in settings of gold. You shall put the two stones on the shoulder straps of the ephod, to be stones of memorial for the children of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before Yahweh, and his two shoulders for memorial. You shall make settings of gold and two chains of pure gold. You shall make them like cords of braided work, and you shall put the braided chains on the settings. You shall make a breastplate of judgment, the work of the skillful workman, like the work of the ephod. You shall make it of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. You shall make it. It shall be square and folded double. Nine inches shall be the length of it, and nine inches its width. You shall set it in settings of stones. Four rows of stones, a row of ruby, topaz, and bell, shall be the first row. In the second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald. In the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. In the fourth row, a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be enclosed in gold in their settings. The stones shall be according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, everyone according to his name. There shall be for the twelve tribes. You shall make them breastplate chains like cords, of braided work of pure gold. You shall make on the breastplate two rings of gold, and shall put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. You shall put the two braided chains of gold and the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. The other two ends of the two braided chains you shall put on the two settings, 
and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in its four parts. You shall make two rings of gold, and you shall put them on the two ends of the breastplate, on its edge, which is toward the side of the ephod inward. You shall make two rings of gold, and shall put them on the two shoulder straps of the ephod underneath, in its four parts, close by its coupling, above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. They shall bind the best plate by its rings, to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that may be on the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the best plate may not swing out from the ephod. Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the best plate of judgment on his heart. When he goes into the holy place for a memorial before Yahweh continually, he shall put in the best place of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be on Aaron's heart when he goes in before Yahweh. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel on his heart before Yahweh continually. He shall make the robe of the ephod, all of blue. It shall have a hole for the head in the middle of it. It shall have a binding of woven work around its hole, as it were, the hole of a coat of mail, that it may not be torn. On its hem, it shall make pomegranates of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet around its hem, and bells of gold between and around them, a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, around the hem of the robe. It shall be an iron to minister. And its sound shall be heard when it goes into the holy place before Yahweh, and when he comes out, that he will not die. He shall make a plate of pure gold, and a grave on it, like the engravings of a signet, holy to Yahweh. He shall put it on the lace of blue, and it shall be on the shash. On the front of the shash it shall be. It shall be on Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall bear the inequity of the holy things, which the children of Israel make holy in all their holy gifts, and they shall be always on his forehead, that they may be accepted before Yahweh. He shall weave the coat in the checker work of fine linen, and he shall make a turban of fine linen, and he shall make a sash, the work of the embroiderer. He shall make coats for our own sons, and he shall make sashes for them, he shall make headbands for them, for glory and for beauty. He shall put them on our your brother, and on his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, so they may minister to me in the priest's office. He shall make them linen breeches to cover the flesh of their nakedness, from the waist even to the thighs they shall reach. He shall be an iron, and on his sons, when they go into the tent of meeting, or when they come near to the altar to minister in the holy place, that they don't bear iniquity and die. It shall be a statue forever to him, and to his offspring after him.